Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tommy the Angry Craftsman and today we're going to discuss the 30, 32 ounce JDS water bottle. Our first engraving on the water bottles uh, using the Thunder Laser Nova 51130 and the Pyburn Rotary. Stay tuned to see how we did it. Okay, so we have our 32 ounce water bottle. So what I've done is run a piece of blue painter's tape down the front or down the, the length of it. Um, I've already made one mark on it, but I will show real quick how we make the next mark. Okay, so I know that this line is straight, or I know that this bar is straight. I can just put my water bottle there and I can run a pencil mark so that now I have a straight line. I can throw it right in my rotary. And this is probably the easiest way to figure out if your rotary is in your bed straight. So all I gotta do is turn it I put my red dot where I want it, which is right on the line, and then I move it from left to right, watching it on the pencil line. So I know that I'm a little off, so I can make a minor adjustment like so, and then I run it back. Probably one of the simplest ways to make sure that your rotary is square with the head of your laser okay so we've never run this image uh, this is the only water bottle we have so i have rolled a lot of blue painters tape on it we'll adjust the power settings and speed settings so that it just marks the blue painters tape but this will give us an idea of what it's going to turn out to look like uh, before screwing up the only water bottle that we have well, I guess we're gonna find out what it's gonna do. Okay, so what we have, we've got it back into the rotary. We've taken a measurement from here to here so that she knows how big to make the image uh, so we can get a test to see what it looks like. I'm gonna raise this back up, find my handy dandy focal length, So this is a six millimeter and I got a little bit of wiggle room because we like to defocus a little bit. Okay, so it's in, it's focused. We're framing it. Oh, by the way, with rotaries, you gotta send it to the controller and frame for the controller. You can't just frame it for the light burner. Looks to be about where we want it. Okay, so, sorry about that. So what we've done is we ran it and then pulled the tape off because we liked where it was. But just in case, I put a little mark somewhere so that if it had burnt through, I could reline it back up easy with where it is. Now I'm gonna just frame it again. Still looks great, and I'll have her resend the file with the new speed and power settings for the tumbler itself or the water bottle. Okay, now it's done. 
Let's see what we can do to clean this thing up. My lovely assistant here will, I don't know, put down a towel, maybe spray some Dawn Power Clean. This just happens to be what we use. And we let it sit, and let it sit, and let it sit some more. Actually, we don't let it sit, but more than a minute or two. Well, let's see what it looks like. Uh, I think that's a magic eraser. What's left of one? So today on top of this was an experiment with our power and speed setting. We altered it at the last minute. see if I can get a closer of how it looks. Well, from my angle, it doesn't look too bad. Your angle, you may see something different. Her angle, she may see something different. So the final look, this is the JDS 32 ounce water bottle done on the Thunder Nova 51130 using the Pyburn Rotary. Not too awful bad. Well, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Other than that, have a great day.